Alright guys, so somehow I've spent the last 10 years or so thinking that I actually played Fallout New Vegas when I never did. I was kind of getting it mixed up with Fallout 3. I've never really been that into the franchise. I played Fallout 3 again recently for the second time and I enjoyed it. I kind of rushed through it though. Um, I didn't realize that I was going on to the last quest, but overall I still enjoyed my time with the game. I just kind of rushed through it a little bit quicker than I would have liked. Um, but we're here to check out Fallout New Vegas, a blind playthrough of the game for you guys. If you want to see a series on this, drop a like. For now, it's going to be a part one. If it does well and people want to see more, I will consider that as well. But uh, yeah, uh, there's a lot of hype around Fallout at the moment with the TV show. I haven't seen the TV show yet, but maybe this uh, playing Fallout New Vegas will want to make me get in and, and watch the TV show as well. So we'll see where we go from here. Um, but I, I just thought that I'd, uh, I'd jump in and check out New Vegas. My friend Tyler has been uh, raving about this game for, for years. It's one of his favorites. He loves Fallout 3 as well. But um, yeah, New Vegas is great. Let's jump in, apparently. New Vegas is great as well, and it was made in half a year and a half, which is insane. So let's jump in, let's check it out. Fallout New Vegas Part 1. Here we go. Continue. Also, I do have a last save game. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I don't think I have. <laughs> I was like, did I play like an hour or two without realizing? No, I didn't. Because I looked up some gameplay and I was like, I remember nothing from this. I thought I'd played it, but I obviously haven't here. So here we go. New game. Viva Las Vegas 2025. Hey, next year. VIP lounge. I'm probably gonna get copyrighted for this song, aren't I? I might have to mute this song. We'll see what happens. Oh, that's a nice looking club there. I like that. It's on fire. What's it called? Gomo Morph? Hmm. Revolving cocktail lounge, hottest tables. Doesn't look like a future I want to be a part of. Welcome, New Vegas. Is this going to hit someone in the skull? Yep. <laughs> yes, it is. So we're playing on Xbox Series X as well, just in case you're curious. Quite dark right now. War. War never changes. What's the subtitles, man? When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. I'll turn this up to the of a here. city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world, and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. The Raging Bulls? A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn. Training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express 
to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Is that my grave? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? Is that Matthew Perry? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. All right, Truth be Matthew. Is, the game was rigged from the start. Oh, that's dope. Matthew Perry's in it. <laughs> Legend. An Obsidian Entertainment production, Fallout New Vegas. Yeah, the music is a little loud. I actually turned the music down because I know the music is always so loud in these games, and it's still way too loud. <laughs> Pretty fucking Jesus, man. That is a bright screen right there. You're awake. How about that? I know that voice, too. Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. He's from Teen Wolf. Just relax a second. <laughs> He's from Teen Wolf, dude. That's the old guy in Teen Wolf. Uh, the, the show, not the movie, by the way. We're back. Your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? My name is Courier. <laughs> I'll put my name as my own name. No, no, not all caps are God's sake. Come on. Bang. Huh. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. <laughs> well, I'm Dr. Thanks. Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. That's how they do the character do? creator. Yeah, well, we are a male. You got it right on that one, buddy. <laughs> Tunnel snake, that's dirt. <laughs> These haircuts are awful, dude. Why are all the haircuts so terrible, dude? The terror sword. <laughs> Punked. Blast back. Yeah, that's that's more like my hair in real life right now. Look. Facial hair, rough beard, survivalist, goatee. I kind of want like a little mustache. Uh, not the gunslinger mustache. The gentleman, maybe. The mutton stash? No, thank you. The ladies man or the man's man? I'll go with the man's man. Screw it. Tough guy? There's a lot of facial hair, man. Jesus lord, look how much there is. I'll go with the man's man, though. I'm, I'm done with that. I'm good with that. Alright, no, we're looking good, baby. Right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. Yeah. True. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. All right. You're looking good so far. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. All right. Hercules is big cousin. Okay, so. Oh, right, okay. I, I get to like... I have five points to spare, basically. So strength, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, luck. Okay, so we can choose here which ones we wanna we wanna increase. I'll up my charisma. We'll leave agility and luck for now. But that that looks good to me. All right. Well, that's a pretty standard score there. But after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Damn right, baby. Well, Let's we do it. Vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered and a bighorn are dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. <laughs> See if your dogs are still barking. All right. Let's do it. Oh, did I sit in your chair? It's important that you're relaxed for this next Okay, test. I took... I, I sat on the wrong Please seat. I understand. Seat. Get out my way then, Doc. Sorry, buddy. I sat in your seat. I didn't realize. We need some good old clothes on us, man. 
All right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Train. House. Investment. Night. Sleep. Bandit. Crush. Light. Dark, I guess. Mother. Human shield. Come on, man. Caretaker. Okay. <laughs> Now, I Some got a few answers. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. No opinion. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Disagree. I'm always I can rely on some others for support. Attention. No, disagree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. No, I'll disagree. I can I embrace new ideas. Deal with my problems head on. Yeah, I'll agree on that. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. A shadow in a door okay. frame, I'll say. How about this one? A ship? Yeah, I guess that's probably what I would say it looks like the most. Last one. I would say a bearded man because of the eyes. Well, that's all she wrote. Okay. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Okay, barter. Okay, so it brings up our melee weapons quite a bit. Brings up our sneak and our speech. I don't feel like it's that important to have melee weapons up there. I'd rather have my guns improved, right? I'm going to put medicine instead of sneak as well, and we'll go with that, all right? Because I, I do think speech is important. Because we want to be, uh, we want to be, like, influencing people throughout the story and stuff like that, especially in a Fallout game. So let's jump in. Let's do this thing, baby. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. <laughs> Not sure that's really <laughs> the family history. Okay, built to destroy. The flamer that burns twice as bright burns half as long. All weapons have plus three the chance, plus three percent chance to critically hit, but equipment condition decays with no. While using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more slowly, but are 20% more accurate. See, that could be one where I'm like, maybe we could do that. Because accuracy, especially with VATs and stuff like that, super important, right? So I'll do trigger discipline, I think. And then I might do heavy handed as well. We'll go with those two. All right. I guess that about does it. All right. Let's get out into the world of Fallout New Vegas, baby. Can you give me a pair of clothes or anything, pal? No. All right. So I'm just... Allowed to take all this stuff? Am I allowed to take it? I don't know. I'll take the knife, though. Give us some sort of weapon. And ammo. Sure. Buffalo gourd seed. I don't know if I'm supposed to be taking this stuff or if he's going to call me up on it, but... Sorry, buddy. It's the way of the road. Here. These are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. Oh. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. Pip boy, okay. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. <laughs> That's Never what I was going to say, man. Style, anyway. Thanks for patching me up, Jack. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. I'll try my best. Okay, Fallout New Vegas allows you to play in a new hardcore mode that greatly increases the challenge of the game. No. But thanks for the offer. <laughs> Definitely don't want that on my first playthrough. Okay, ain't that a kick in the head? We're out into the open world of Fallout New Vegas, baby. Let's go. Is this the guy that saved me? Victor? They went that away. Victor, my man! Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Do you know who those wet men were who attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. <laughs> 
I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. How did you end up in Good Springs? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. <laughs> anyway, it's this a right a peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. All right, I will do, buddy. Thank you. Happy trails. All right, I'm liking the vibes of the game so far. The characters all seem, like, interesting and unique. And I recognize, like, Matthew Perry right off the rip and that guy there. So a lot of famous voice actors you'd have to assume in this game. So I'm assuming we're going to the saloon here to talk with some folks. But we can check out the general store as well. Uh, anything in the dumpster for us? A pack of cigarettes and some wonder glue. I guess I could sell stuff. Um, can I just go into the general store and sell the stuff that I that I robbed from the doctor? You know, get some money. <laughs> I feel bad, but hey there. What's up, Chet? You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps, if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Okay. Show me what you have for sale, sir. The doctor's bags. Restore all body parts. I definitely want to keep that on me, then. We can sell the empty syringes, though. I'll buy a pistol, because why not? It might, it might as well, right? This one does more damage, is it? I'll buy a good one, because what the hell. Okay, now I have 44. So I could I could buy the worst pistol, Another but you know what? Satisfied customer. Do you know anything about the people who attacked me, sir? The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him. Probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Have you ever been to New Vegas? Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice, behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. Okay. Sounds good to me. Tell me more about Mr. I'm House, though. I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38. That's the one we saw in the intro. He goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's got to be a good thing, right? I guess so. Okay. Back out into the saloon, my friends. Let's go. Oh, I thought I was allowed to go in. Oh, hello, sir. Easy Pete! Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The one me? in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Okay. Why are you called ECP? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Okay, fair enough. Well, did you ever find anything good? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Don't get me wrong, the NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. 
Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Okay. Yeah, what is important about Hoover Dam? I guess it's the, the water flow? The dam powers a lot and of new electricity. Rivers. And then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Fair enough. The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Poor Victor, man. Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. <laughs> Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills. But gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. All right, thanks, buddy. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Well, good to know. Let's check out our pit boy. All right, let's head in. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Who won't? Is there a dog there? I want to see the dog. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sunny Sounds smiles. like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Oh yeah, there's the dog. Can I say hello to the doggy? Aw, oh, he's gone. Cheyenne, what a cool name for a dog, too. Hey, buddy! Cool, we got the blue eyes and everything. I'm here, Sonny. I'm here! Can I put away my gun? Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this yeah. and try to hit a couple of them. All right. Bang! That's the right idea. Look down the site. Bang! Try crouching down and staying still. If oh, it'll help you do Okay, how do I crouch down? There we go. Bang! Nice shot. Thanks. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Okay. Follow sure. me. Sure. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. We'll help her out. Why not? Let's go, me, Cheyenne, and Sunny Smiles. Now, getting the geckos away in the open world, baby. This is how we do it. Game looks pretty good for a game that came out in 2010, by the way, for an open world like big style RPG. It looks pretty good for a game that came out in 2010. I mean, obviously, by today's standards, it doesn't look good. But, I mean, it's like 15 years now, nearly, this came out. 15 years ago. Pretty nuts. Sometimes I like being third person, especially for exploring. But when you're in the combat section of stuff, it's uh, definitely easier to be in the first person. When you're running along like this, it's nice to be able to see your character. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos that clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something Using that? that way. Okay, let's get the jump on them. It says detected. What the hell? I think that's just by Sunny, though, right? Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. Me? Oh, you're kidding me. I thought I could get closer than this. Okay. Let's use the VAT, baby. Let's accept our... I'm going for the headshot. Bang. No, I should go for a body shot. It's 95 and it still hurts him. So, go bang. Bang. Oh, I don't have enough to go for another one? I can only go for one shot? That's crazy. Got him, though. Oh, no. I think I did, too. Holy shit, dude. Help me out here. Nice. Thank you, Shan. That was beautiful. Shan, help me. Dog murked him. Is that all of them? 
I'll take their meat and their hide. We can sell it if we need to. Let's go, baby. Talk to Sunny Smiles. Sunny, that was lit. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two bang, more bang. wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. I mean, Shouldn't I'll come just for minutes, the caps, not because it's a tutorial. Come with me. All right, let's go kill him. I want the caps. All right, where are the other two wells? Here's one. All right, I'm gonna headshot him. I'm, uh, is it worth it to go for a headshot? Ooh, we did hit him. We crippled his head too. Nice. Go to first person. Nicely done, boys. That was quite sensational. Wait, where'd you go? Where the hell she go? Am I tripping balls here? Sham. Oh, there she is. Okay. We can drop down on top of them. Watch this. You ain't running for me. No, I don't want to hit her. What the hell? <laughs> Why would I ever want to do that? All right, I can actually get three shots off with the pistol, which is nice. Nice! Absolutely crippled him. That was beautiful. I love the vats, man. The vats are awesome. Oh, shit. Good spring settler died, though. Oh, no. I'll take her stuff. That seems wrong. <laughs> I just stripped her down. That seems wrong, dude. I stripped down her crippled body. That's... It's pretty messed up. Sorry, Sonny. Ah, oh, hell's bells. There's not a day passes by. I don't tell people not to come here by I don't themselves. think we could have saved her. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. 50. Thought I might teach you about living off the land. And making useful things for yourself. Interested? Couldn't hurt. Alright then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard. And I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me and we'll get cooking. Okay. Sure. We'll get cooking, baby. I saw a red thing. Oh, there. It's a wolf for a dog up there. Cool. I remember one of the fallouts you could get a dog. Is that Fallout 4? I think that might be Fallout 4. Because I was like, um... I love having dogs in video games and stuff. It's, it's so cool having a little companion like that. But, yeah, I don't know. I think that was Fallout 4. I didn't play Fallout 4 too extensively. Um, but I did play enough. You know, I played enough of it to know what it was all about. Um, I didn't love Fallout 4. I enjoyed what I played of it. Like a, but I didn't, like, fall in love with the game like I did with certain other RPGs and stuff, you know? Is one of them attacking me? The music just got like I'm in a fight. Oh, it's all bees and shit? What the fuck? Don't like this. You're getting shot in your body, sunshine. Gotcha. Bitch. What up, baby? All right, by the graveyard. We got to find a flower here. Oh, shit. We got a scorpion coming at us here. This is insane. What, should I go for a headshot? Oh, God. Let's go for the stinger. 95% shot on the stinger. Nice. Hit it. No, re you have to reload now, brother. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, he's empty. Just got to find the flower. That's all we're looking for, baby. There we go. Brock flower. We got it. And they, this is where I was... This is where they were trying to kill me. Stupid bastards. Don't play games, little b-boy. Come on, then, bloatfly. You're done. Bah. Bah. Done. See ya. Ow, what the hell just hit me that time? You? You piece of scum? All right. How did I not dodge that? Bang. Bang. You're done, too. Oh, that stinger nearly hit me in the skull. All right. We, we don't really get anything off them anyway. All right, let's get out of here. We're good, baby. We didn't lose any health, really, so we're fine. And we have to go to the schoolhouse as well, it said, I think. Graveyard and the schoolhouse, so. Let's head to the schoolhouse, get that other flower, and then go back to her. I, I assume she's just gonna, like, teach us how to create, like, a potion that gives us health back, or something like that, I assume. The funk, so brother. There's more little critters here. 
He did say there was critters at the schoolhouse, and here they are, the little bastard. A giant bloody mantis for the antenna. I can go for the head, though. I can get a 79% on the head. Here we go. Bang. Bang. Didn't hit him once? You gotta be shitting me, dude! Not one time. Some bullshit, brother. Got them both, though. Let's go. Honestly, easier killing them ones without the vats, to be honest. A mantis four leg, sure. Why not? Why the hell not, brother? Okay, so we gotta look for. Is that gonna be the flower up here? On this tree? Oh, here it is. Aha. Take three Xander roots. Thank you very much. Why is there blood here? Oh, that's the blood from the mantis? I was like, what the hell? Oh my god, run. There's a lot of them in there. <laughs> There is a lot of them in there. Alright, let's bring these back to to our fair lady, Sunny Smiles. What a name, by the way. Imagine your name is Sunny Smiles. You've just got to be pretty upbeat in life if your name's Sunny Smiles. Alright. What's up, baby? Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Sweet. Just fine. Alright, now. We're going to be making something I knew it. on the trail called Healing Powder. I knew Go it. on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Alright, I will. Thank you. Uh, healing powder. Bang. Accept. Yes. Hey, there we go! Bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm it's heading a great help, now. Sonny. Hope Thank I you. didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. <laughs> hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay. We'll do that. Thank you. Let's go meet Trudy. Alright. Interesting little first section to the game. Obviously, it's a bit of a slower start because, I mean, you're learning the... Uh, the controls of the game it's always the way in an rpg like you know the first hour or so is always going to be a little bit more slowed down to kind of get you into the world get you into the controls mainly and figure out what's going on or else you'll kind of just be confused later on so makes sense to me um but as the world starts to open up more and we um we start to go on our adventures i'm sure it'll start to pick up the pace as well not like fallout is a, a fast-paced game or anything which i like i i don't care about that but you know what i'm trying to say like this, the game's start points in these are always a little bit slower because you're kind of learning the, learning the ropes. It's like a tutorial almost. I mean, it is. That's what it is. So can I go and repair my rifle just like anywhere? Or like, can I go into him and like get a repair kit and, and use it on, on this? Probably. I probably have some stuff to sell him now as well. So we'll go into the general good store, sell some stuff, then we'll go meet Trudy. Because I want to I wanna repair the gun. I, I imagine the better condition you have it in, the more damage it does as well. So, you want to try and keep these in uh, in tippy-toppy condition. Alright, brother, how we doing, pal? You looking Shit! for some supplies? I am, buddy. Anything else you can take me about the gre great cans? They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The Great Khans deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by Great Khans. Thanks, buddy. Take it easy. Let's go see Trudy. We sold some good stuff. You know, that would be stealing, so... You can't take anything. The doctor was kind of an open book. He wanted to give give you whatever you needed, you know? But you can't just go doing that everywhere else. Let's go see Trudy inside the Prospector. Hey there. Holy crap, Sonny. Why were you that close to me, man? Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? What do you do around here? I hunt geckos, mostly. The meat's pretty good, and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I also help keep the town clear of rat scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in good springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear, but I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Okay, thank you. A lot of towns are nearby. Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Yeah, well, since it has the giant that. old roller. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. Okay, Sloan and Quarry Junction. Something, but I heard they got troubles lately. 
I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. Okay. The new California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west, fixing on making Nevada their own. They can be right pushy, but the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I got a choice. Fair enough. What does the NCR keep you safe from, though? Well, the wildlife for one thing, rowdy locals for another. They're protecting their own. Just happens to help us. They've been holding off this other group from the east, too. What do you know about the other group? Got a funny name. Call themselves oh, Caesar's Legion, Legion. Then is, of course. Okay. I hear rumors, that's about it. Supposedly, they keep slaves and they got some real nasty ways of killing folks. But maybe that's just something folks in the NCR cooked up to make themselves seem more useful here. Less uninvited. What kind of creatures are out there? Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. All right. Thank you. If you want to know anything else, just ask. Will do. Thank you, lady. I don't want work off her right now. I mean, we already did everything we we could with her, I feel like. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Oh, what the hell okay. is your problem? Not much. Trudy, I'm here. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Okay. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? <laughs> Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Was that man you were arguing with? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Oh. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. And it hasn't been working since. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. So Fellow wants to Vegas. get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Okay. I know that thing he doesn't like the robot, as much yeah. as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. You don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. Okay. How long has he been here? He was here? here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Thank be you. Care Okay, so we could help your man, 
Like, I, don't, I definitely don't want to help the powder gangers. Like, I, that just seems fucked up. So I'm not even going to ask that question. I feel like that would just be disrespectful. Uh, but, yeah, let's just um, see what's up next. Offer to help Ringo deal with the powder gangers. Inquire about your delivery assignment. The administrator of the Mo Java Express in Prim. And find the men who tried to kill you. So, yeah, I mean, we might as well offer. Well, we'll, we'll talk to him anyway and see. Like, we'll see what kind of guy he is. We'll see if he seems like a nice guy. If he seems like a decent dude, we can uh, we can help him. And if he doesn't, we don't have to help him. It's as simple as that, really. All right, where are you at, buddy? Hello? Is he in here? Sir? Ooh, Sunset Sarsparella. Gives us some HP. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan? You know how to play? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran, so okay. I figured their friends are out for revenge. All right, well, then we can help them. He didn't really do anything too much. It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pot. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? Just keep an eye out for him while you travel. I found cards in old boxes. There was one in town, on actually, shelves. I think. Can find some for sale, too. Yeah. All right, let's try. Don't worry. I'm not that good of a player. I have no idea how to play, but we're going to try it. Okay. Um, Auto match. I have to make a caravan. How, like, how do I go about making a caravan? <laughs> I don't know. Like, is there... Like, I don't get it right now. Except... Oh, here we go. Okay. Randomize caravan deck. Or, sorry, you have to be under 26, but over 21 is the goal. This seems way too fucking complex right now. What is it? What are you going to do about the powder gangers? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps, but you get me out of this and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board, start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Yep, Sunny Smiles is a real one. All right, we can take some stuff here and sell it back at the, uh... Oh, look at that. Boxing times. 20 bucks. Might as well take all this stuff, eh? And sell it. Ooh, a doctor's bag. Nice. If she helps us, I think we're we're gonna be okay. You know? Sonny? Howdy. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? We need your help, lady. Say no more. I'm in. Hell yeah, baby. Just like that? Just like that. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Okay. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Okay. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. 
You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Really? God damn it. I'll be waiting. All right. So let's go talk to Chet. Uh, let's go talk to everyone before we talk to Trudy. Howdy. Bad trouble. Welcome. <laughs> Too dangerous. Want to kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Okay, so I need to get my... Yep. I need to level up and get my explosive to, uh, 25. Okay. Maybe we can do that. I'm not sure. First off, let's go see if Chet will talk to us. Now, we do have good, uh, good speech, so maybe. You looking to buy some supplies? I need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now, just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Barter. The town's at stake. That has to be worth more than a few supplies. Look, you're bringing... Yeah, okay, so we can't get either of them involved right now. If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. God damn it, dude. All right, so we Take can't get either of these guys yet. We need barter and we need explosives. I don't know which would be more helpful, to be honest, but... Yeah, a little bit of a nuisance. All right, let's go see the dock, I suppose. We'll try and get the dock and Trudy on board, all right? If we have the dock and Trudy on board, then we'll be fine even without the uh, the explosives, you have to assume. Uh, doc Mitchell, we'll get some stim packs off him. I assume he'll want to help us. He seems like a decent dude. Doc, you in here, buddy? There he is. Doc, come here, buddy. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Uh, the town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Thank you, buddy. They'll be using explosives. Do you have something for more serious injuries? Look at that. Got much, we do have 30 on medicine. Good out there than I will in here. Take what I got. Thank you. Doctor's bags added. Nice. Uh, that's pretty good. So let's go talk to Trudy. See, show her that we have some good stuff here. Like, are we close to leveling up so that I get more points or what? Like, how do I actually know how close we are to leveling up or our skills or what? I'm not sure. XP 146 out of 200. Okay, there you go. All right, Trudy. I need your help. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Oh, look, we do have speech 25. You should help me take down the powder gang, bullets, explosions, lots of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out. That worked. For some reason, <laughs> I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. So is the, does that mean he's going to help Trudy? Because he didn't help me. I'll tell you that much. Oh, we leveled up. Shit. Be careful out there. Well, it said Trudy level up. Oh, no. That, that was me. Okay. Barter. Oh, I can get Barter to 25 now. I'm going to do that. I could get explosives to, not to 25, actually. But that's okay. Um, we'll just focus on some other stuff. Energy weapons I'll put up because we just got that. Confirmed Bachelor. In combat, you do 10% damage against male opponents outside of combat. You'll sometimes have access to unique dialogue options when dealing with the same sex. The hell? You can put a single point into any of your special attributes? Yeah, why the hell wouldn't I want that, right? Lady Killer. In combat, you do 10% damage against female opponents outside of combat. You'll sometimes have access to unique dialogue options when dealing with the opposite sex. Let's do that one. Lady Killer. Because I want, I want unique dialogue options with, with the ladies. Let's go talk to Chet now. See what you have to say now that Trudy's involved, bitch. And I have the barter ability too. So you ain't, you ain't turning me down now, son. Chet, where you at, baby? Come out here. Wait, where the hell Chet go? He's gone. Oh, there he is. <laughs> you looking to buy some supplies? No, I'm not looking to buy some supplies. I need help. This again? Like I said, I'm against taking on the powder gangers. My supplies aren't cheap, you know. You made your point. There you go. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And, all right. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Yeah, you're a pussy. That's what I understand. You're a little pussy Take boy. Now. 
Come on now. You don't want to take on the power to gang us? All right, let's uh, let's put on that armor. Yeah, that leather armor seems pretty good, actually. Okay. Yeah, we're looking like a real bloody Fallout uh, character now, to be honest. So yeah, we're not going to be able to convince him to get the explosives, but that's all right. Because we're going to go and uh, we're going to do this thing without him. We don't need his dynamite. We got guns. We got everything we need, baby. We got leather armor. We got ammo. Everything we need is upon us. Let's take these motherfuckers on. I'm going to save it now just in case this is really actually quite difficult. Overrate that. Sure. My man, I got the town with us. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? And more. Well, Sonny's with us. Well, I that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. I'm ready for Time it, baby. Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. Where's Trudy and the rest? They're getting set up in cover, but it might not go well unless we get out there soon. How many other? At least six. Okay. Joe Cobb included. That's they look fine. pretty mean. Let's go. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. All right, let's go. Chan, you better be okay. That's all I want to say right now. If Chan gets hurt, we riot. And I'm serious about that. Here they come. Shit. Okay. Come here, boys. Go for a torso shot. Sure. Hit him. Did it hit him? I think it did. Critical strike, baby. Let's go, baby. You guys are donezo. Let's go! Don't shoot your bloody, uh... Don't shoot Trudy now. Switch! Switch guns! <laughs> gotcha! Oh! Headshot! Bang! Good night! Let's go! Holy smokes! Shotguns, everything! They got all sorts of stuff! Reputation has increased! With a group of people in the wasteland. Whether that reputation is good or bad, you're finally somebody and people associated with that group will start to react to what you've done. There are many different factions in the wasteland and you can develop a distinct reputation with each one. As you perform actions that benefit, uh, benefit a group, you will gain fame. If you perform actions that harm a group, you will gain infamy. Your reputation with any given group is a measure of the combined uh, total of fame and infamy that you have earned. The benefits and drawbacks of any given reputation depend on the group itself. Okay, cool. Enough news if your good work has been passed around the people like you. Shunned. You've left a poor impression on the community and maybe shunned as a result with the powder gangers. Yeah, of course. That makes a lot of sense, actually, but that's all right. All right. We're picking up all this stuff. I'll get all this good stuff. We did it, baby. Favor for this. Here. These are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. You're welcome, I'll buddy. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp. All right, I will do, buddy. Let me go out and get all this stuff, though. I want to loot all these guys. We can sell it. That guy's face got obliterated. Good Lord Almighty, dude. That guy got absolutely obliterated. That's insane. All right. Let's go, baby. We did it, Sonny. Trudy, we did it. I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Show me what you have for Got sale. A special discount for you after what you've done for us. Oh, let's go, baby. All right, I can sell some stuff that I got because I definitely got too much stuff here. There's no doubt about that. All right, 212 caps we're getting off her. Is there anything I should buy off her? Stuff that I, I, I guess I'll buy some health items and stuff. Why not? All right, we'll go with just that, those for Give now. Me a thank shout you. If you need anything else. I will do. Thank you, lady. Let's talk to Trudy. How are you doing, Cheyenne? You're a good girl. Let's go see. Uh, let's go see Sunny before Howdy. we leave. That'll teach the powder gangs to avoid good springs in the future. Huzzah. That's a fact. All right. Until she didn't really have anything else to say to us. So let's be on our merry little way now. It's time to leave. Okay. We've done all we can here. Let's have a look at our quests. They went that away. Find the men who tried to kill you. Inquire about your delivery assignment with the administrator of the Mojave Express in Prim. So we're heading to Prim next. And Prim is this way. We want to stick to the highway. It's my way or the highway. Let's have a look at the world map. So it's not like crazy far away. That was fun though, man. We 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 wrecked those guys. They didn't have, they didn't stand a chance. It was beautiful. They did not stand a whole chance. All right, let's go. We're on the open road, my friends. We look pretty cool with our new armor. Let's actually check if that other armor we got is uh is better than ours. Let's have a look here. So we got good springs. We don't need any of that stuff. I'm looking at the uh, the armor here. So we got this. No, I wouldn't say it's as good. It's a lot less weighted. Do the cowboy hat because that ha actually has a. Oh, we got a. 
we gotta park off both of them to be fair. So um, let's have a look at it and see what this looks like in comparison. Oh no, I don't want to be no 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 don't want to be dressed uh, as a powder ganger. Definitely don't want to be dressed as a powder ganger. So oh we look like a bloody badass cowboy now though. Look at this boys. <laughs> Fallout New Vegas, here we are, sunshine. This is beautiful. Let's get up on here just to, to give us a good view of the, the overworld here. <laughs> Let's go, baby. I'm into this so far, definitely. Like, that that whole quest line, even to start off, was really fun. Before you venture deeper into the wasteland, you may revise your character. Rebuild character. No, I'm good. I'm good on that. We don't need to, we don't need to do that. I'm guessing that's, like, your last chance. So, Prim is to the right, and Las Vegas is to the left. We're definitely not going to Las Vegas yet. We want to head to Prim first and figure things out before we make our merry little way. Yo, boys. What's up? You guys friendly? You've discovered several locations. You can fast travel back to discovered locations using the world map in your pit boy. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. It's a powder ganger camp. Okay. Well, let's leave them alone. I thought I'd, I'd be infamous with those guys right now. It's a bloody mine there. They didn't even bloody flinch when that went off. <laughs> They did not even flinch when that mine went off. All right, well, we're lucky there we didn't die. All right, this is definitely the town we're going to. What the fuck is that thing? Bruh, it's a young gecko hunter. He's kind of clean, dude, I'm not gonna lie. He's kind of cool. Oh, sorry. I don't know why I just took his head off. That seemed unnecessary, but. Man, we got to, we, we, we scorched him, but we still got to keep the meat, so it's fine. Say okay, baby. That guy was just out hunting, and I just bloody... I took his head off. It was a little bit a little bit harsh, but, you know... You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. There's the new California Republic sign. And things are starting to get dark here. Look at, the, look at that up in the background there. The two shaking hands up there. That's actually really cool. It's like a statue. How do I get in now is the, is the next question. I assume we can get in the front gate up here. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Uh, what's going on in Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. Oh. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Shouldn't you be protecting the town or something? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Why can't you protect them? We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Okay. I'll stay on the west side then. All right. Hello, sir. Sergeant McGee. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Legend. Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. I'm from Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Okay. Sir. Where's Lieutenant Hayes, then? Because I'll be honest, I don't see him. Lieutenant Hayes! I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? What are you doing out here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. Convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Okay. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape and have been ransacking the area since then. Do you have any information on the convicts, sir? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seem to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. That's good news. I have some free time. Ask away. So what now, then? We just gotta go in and do it ourselves? Like, I don't know. Do they expect me to kill everything, everyone by by myself? I, I don't know. I guess. Because they aren't giving me, like, other options here. Yep, here they are. 
You wanna play games, buddy? Let's go then, escape convict. I'm going for three headshots, screw it. Crippled his head, baby. Crippled his head. What's up, sunshine? Don't mess with me, son. I'm telling you right now, don't mess with me. Gotcha. Headshot. Cut his head off. Jesus Christ, that was brutal. Okay. Brutal. Just absolutely headshot this guy to the... That's, that's tough on that guy. I, I apologize, man. That's the way it had to be, though. Door to the Vicky and Vance Casino. Is this where we're actually going in here? I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. I, I realize that, yeah. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I'm a courier with the Mojave Express outpost. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost the package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. The cowboy First robot? First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. Interesting. Turned down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Not for me to say. Some men stole my ch package. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. I wanted to ask about the bloody uh, robot. A Beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. Okay. Yeah, I can't ask him about the robot, damn it. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. Fair enough. Alright, thanks, Bye. buddy. Because that is kind of concerning about the Howdy. robot. Hello, Prim Rather Resident. Be left alone in my misery, if you don't mind. Alright then. <laughs> sure. Alright, so we gotta help save this guy. My kind of town. Prim's deputy has been captured by powder gangers in Bison Steve and needs to be rescued. Okay. Find Prim's lawman to get information on where your attackers went. So, yeah, my kind of town is the quest we're going to do now. And that's going to be right out here. So we got to go save him from the gangers. I'm just used to saving all the time now because I've been playing the classic Tomb Raiders. I just save before I do everything. So I'm kind of doing the same thing here. It's probably not as necessary with Fallout, but uh, still. So there's going to be gangers in here. We got to be ready to take them all on. Fucking hell, me! Chill out there, buddy. No need for that kind of carry on, was there? You still alive? Gotcha, buddy. Alright. Switch to the handgun. Well, that was kind of crazy. Oh, activate terminal. A science skill of. Ah, we need science skill. Yeah. See, that's why I was kind of uh, trying to put up my science earlier. Bloody hell, me! Headshots. Headshots, bang. Good, good night, Irene. Convict. Boom. Boom shakalaka, boy. Gotcha. All right, that's a convict dead. 
love just taking everything off them. It's messed up, but it's what has to be done here. Anything else in here? We got a teddy bear. Sure, I'll take him. All right, where's our boy? Aha, he says, as if I'm not about to shoot you in your torso three times, sir. Gotcha. Critical strike, baby. Oh, last one. Hit him right in there. And good night, Irene. And right, I got the vermin rifle now. All right, where am I going here? Am I going the right way, even? Holy shit, talky mushrooms, buddy. Nice headshot. There's too many of them, man. There's too many of them. Go, go, go. Make a run for it. Nice headshot. He still doesn't kill oh, me no. with this gun, so. Haha, <laughs> you lit your own fell on fire! <laughs> That was fucking crazy, dude. Jesus, this is insanity, man. This is absolute insanity. Come on, boys. Come on. Come around that corner, baby. All right, all right, all right, I get it, dude. Holy fucking Jesus Christ, man. It's insanity. Get the fucking flamethrower guy, man. Jesus Christ, this is nuts, man! What is happening here? Oh, he's the leader, that's why. This is absolutely chaos, dude. I'm gonna die. Unless we kill him right here, I'm gonna die. Alright, please, get your fucking thing out. I need to fucking heal, man. I need to heal. This is absolute craziness. I can't believe how crazy this is. Oh, I just gave myself rads, idiot. Okay. I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die, and it's all this game's fault. It's one dead, okay. I mean, this is absolute chaos. I can't believe how many of them there is here. All right, heal, heal, please, please heal, please, 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 please heal. I need something. Med X, yeah, sure. I need to use all my bloody med kits. I don't care. Didn't mean to do that. All right, here we go. This guy's got to be dead here. I'm just going to kill him with a little couple headshots and then kill you with the headshot too. Bang, let's go. Oh, weapons in poor condition. Great. That missed. Oh, jeez. All right, this is getting nuts now. Let's get out the laser one. Had enough. All right, laser one. We got a 66% chance of the head. We got three bullets here. They've all got a hit here. I think they did. Dude, this guy's just got so much more health than the other. Fucking hell, it's insane. It's insane, man. You hit the wall. You hit the wall twice. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is insane. All right, last shot. This should do it. This should finish him. Come on. Oh my god, dude. Finally. I mean, I took so much more damage than we probably should have there, but whatever. We did what we had to do. Um, that was insane. All right, my weight's going to be... I'm going to be over-encumbered here soon, so we need to be careful. But, wow, that was crazy. Hydra has worn off. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm actually very close to being over-encumbered now. Oh my god, that was absolute insanity. I can't believe how crazy that was. Okay, well, am I in the right location still? Like, where the hell is this dude, man? I don't see him. Is that him? Hey, buddy. Is that you? Deputy Beagle, I, I got you, buddy. You came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are not. I got your back, buddy. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. And it's a pleasure I'm to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I hear you may have information on some cans that came through here with a guy in a checkered Indeed suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Okay. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. 
If you try to run away instead of fighting at my side, I'll kill you myself. Oh, well. There you course. go. Don't mess I've with me, never Deputy let Beagle. You fight my kidnappers with my help, but without it, you lead the way. I think we've killed them all, to be quite perfectly honest, man. But sure, let's let's get the hell out of here. I think we did well. It was tough. That was a tough fight, no doubt about it. But that was fun. All right, come on out, buddy. What now? You gonna tell? You gonna talk to me now, buddy? Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? I did. Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course. But it was quite thrilling. This man Problem didn't kill is, a single there's person. still no law in Prem. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. <laughs> I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers. When what was he going to say? Recons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you. They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Okay, thanks, buddy. Hello again. Is that it? I don't suppose you've decided to help Prim find its next sheriff? What are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. Oh no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. I'll help bring law and order you back will. to Prim. That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, NCR kind of helped keep these guys at bay, though, right? So, might be worth it. We'll see. We'll go talk to him. This guy just got Daniel Wyand. He got m murked, huh? Oh, there's another delivery in there. Mojave Ex Express delivery, four of six. Yeah, so we can either talk to this guy or go all the way up to the NCR Correctional Facility, which we are shunned from. <laughs> so I don't think I want to do that at all, to be honest. I think I'd rather just have to fucking forgot about these things, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I forgot about the mines. All right, let's go talk to uh, let's go talk to Hayes. See if he wants to take over, because I ain't going up to the place I'm shunned from. That just ain't gonna happen, son. I know it's probably it's a little messed up bringing in martial law upon this place, but it's better than what it, what is happening right right now, I guess. <laughs> Is anything better than martial law? I don't know. Uh, whatever. Wake up, pal. It's important. It's worth the fucking... Get up! Get up! Yeah. All right. Prim is in dire need of some real law. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. I took him out. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. What do you need to take over protecting the town? What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If okay. you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Okay. All right. So we can talk to that guy south of here if we need to. So we got two options. We could either go up to the prison that we're shunned from. Or we can go down way south here and talk to... We're, we're neutral in the Mojave outpost. So I think that's probably a better play for us right now than going to the N NCR correctional facility that we're shunned from. But anyway, that's where we're going to end the first video of Fallout New Vegas. If you want to see me take on the full series of Fallout New Vegas, then please do drop a like. Let me know in the comments. We've played the first couple hours here today, and I plan on doing a series if you guys are interested. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely invested in the game so far. I, I'm liking it a lot so far. So yeah, a couple hours in, obviously a lot of the game to go. It's probably a pretty long game. I don't know like how long it is in comparison to the other fallout games or other rpgs i wouldn't say it's like a 40 50 hour game anything like that because it was made in a year and a half but we'll see what happens anyway thanks for the support really appreciate it make sure to drop a like it's the best way to let me know you enjoy this content comment down below if you want to see a full series and i'll see you next time peace out my friends